Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a part two video review of two products that I started using about seven days ago. So the first one is Olay Henriksen's Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. It runs for about $34 Canadian Sephora.ca. The second product that I reviewed is Summer Friday's Vitamin C Serum, which is a little bit more pricier. It is $84 Canadian on Sephora's website as well. So in part one video that I did about a week ago, I did a unboxing of these two products and my first impression of using these products on my face. I took you guys to my bathroom and I washed off my makeup and I followed by the CC Vitamin C Serum. So in part two videos, in today's video, we're gonna do the same thing where I'm gonna take you guys to my bathroom, I'm gonna wash off my makeup, followed by the vitamin C serum, and uh, I'm gonna give you a final verdict of how I feel about these two products, whether or not they are worth getting, um, and we'll also do like up close of my skin, on my face, and uh, We'll see if there's any improvements, if anything got worse, if anything changed at all. Uh, hopefully this review will help you determine whether or not you, you know, you've been thinking about getting these products. And yeah, but before we get into that review, I just want you guys to like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow my YouTube dream. So without any further ado, uh, let's get into my bathroom. Hey guys, welcome back to my bathroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my face again with the Ole Henriksen Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. After that, we're going to take a look at my skin. And then after that, we're going to follow with the, um, the serum. And uh, I'm going to give you guys my final verdict. I used Ole Henriksen Truth Juice Daily Cleanser once a day at bedtime to remove makeup and other lingering oils and dirt that I had on my face from the day. I would suggest using less than the amount I did in the first video. The product spreads well on the face, so a quarter size amount is enough, but that all depends on, on the amount of makeup that you wear. A little goes a long way, and the tube is big, so I could see this cleanser lasting me a couple of months, which works out to be like 65 cents a use. At $37, this tube is a relatively affordable product. After a week-long use of this cleanser, my face felt clean, soft, and it gave me a healthy glow. The pleasant smell of oranges, which by the way did not smell artificial to me, made my skin feel refreshed, revived, and energized. Ole Henriksen's Truth Juice Daily Cleanser also smoothed out some of the bumps on my cheeks, chin, and jawline. I was worried that the pHA in this cleanser, which are acids that remove dead skin cells, would be irritating, but it turns out the pHA are actually the most appropriate acids to use for sensitive skin prone to irritation. In no way did this cleanser feel like it was stripping my skin, it did not leave my skin feeling dry or tight. All in all, this cleanser worked well on my sensitive, dry combination skin. It gave me no irritation or more breakouts. One downside that I could come up with is that I didn't notice any difference in the size of my pores. I was really hoping that this cleanser would help my pores shrink even a tiny bit. I would definitely be replacing my old Holy Grail cleanser by Eve Lom with this affordable cleanser by Ole Henriksen. I give Ole Henriksen's Truth Juice Daily Cleanser two thumbs up and I'll continue using this cleanser in my skincare routine. This is my first time using a vitamin C serum. After reading all the raving positive reviews on Sephora's website, I decided to splurge and purchase this magical $84 Summer Fridays CC Me Serum. I use the serum once a day at bedtime after cleansing my face with Ole Henriksen's Truth Juice Cleanser before applying my moisturizer. My suggestion is to use less than the instructions on the bottle, which says to use a few pumps. One pump is actually even too much. In the first tryout video, I used two pumps as directed 
and have an excessive amount of serum, which I vigorously rubbed all over my face and still have more of the product left all over my hands. So one pump is definitely more than enough. I also changed my application technique from vigorously rubbing this product all over my face to gentle dabbing all over my face and neck. As you can see in the video, my face instantly turned red, which was partly my fault since I was vigorously rubbing it in my face. The redness faded away within a few minutes. This vitamin C serum felt slightly tacky on my face at application, and I had to let it sink in for a few minutes before applying my face cream. The smell was faint, which I like. However, all in all, I can't say that the serum magically improved my complexion. After a week-long use of summer day serum, my face texture did feel smooth. But that could also be from Oli Henriksen's cleanser, as previously reviewed. I can't say that my skin did look glowing and radiant after application, as it would with any serum I have used in the past. I also like that it did not break me out, nor did I have any weird reactions other than the brief redness right after applying the serum. My skin did feel soft, hydrated, and luminous. However, despite all the hype and all the five-star reviews that I saw on Sephora's website, I was not wowed by the serum. I haven't noticed a huge difference in my skin to justify their $84 price tag. The product claims to brighten, improve skin's texture, and boost hydration, which I would agree did. However, reducing dark spots, fading fine lines and wrinkles, improving elasticity and firmness, I just didn't feel much of a change in those aspects to say it's worth $84. I'm going to switch to using this product from bedtime to morning time and see if that makes a difference. If not, I will definitely be returning. I give Summer Friday's Vitamin C Serum one thumb up. I so wanted to love this product, but in the end, it felt short of my expectations. It was a decent serum, but not enough to incorporate it into my skin routine. So following the cleanser and the serum, I am now going to put on my L'Occitane face cream just to seal all the moisture in. I'm just going to lightly dab it on my skin. So the verdict is I would keep using the cleanser. The serum, I'm not really too sure about. I'm probably am gonna return it. $84 is a lot of money for something that did not meet my expectations, to say the least. Um, I will continue using the cleanser though. I really liked it. It's a really good product for the price point as well. So if you guys enjoyed my video and you want to see more, please like and subscribe and I will see you next week. My goal is to post one video a week and um, I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you next time.